first meeting of the Committee to Protect the Rights of Deputy Chairman of Musavat Party and journalist Tafi Yagoblu and Head of Real Movement Ilgar Mamadov took place last Friday at the headquarters of Musavat Party. Earlier, Musavat and Real created their own defense committees, which they have now merged to better protect the rights of the arrested civil society activists. The committee includes prominent leaders of non-governmental organizations, the media and human rights activists. The first document adopted by the committee, which was read by Chairman Gubat Ibadoglu, was an appeal demanding an end to trumped-up arrests and release of those arrested. Yakublu and Mamadov were arrested 10 days after visiting Ismail region to study the situation where on January 23rd and 24th there were massive public protests against arbitrary behaviors by local officials. According to Gubadi Badoglu, the officials who provoked the mass demonstrations should be imprisoned. Ibadoglu noted that social and economic indicators and employment rate in Ismail region are lower than in other regions of the country. Head of the Center to Protect Freedom of Conscience and Religion, Ilgar Ibrahimoglu, said that by arresting prominent public figures, the authorities have made it clear that they will do their best to prevent unrest of the people who are active in society on the eve of the presidential election. The arrest of Tafik Yagoblu after the arrest of his daughter is demonstration of authorities' readiness to use any form of violence. As for Ilgar Mamadov's arrest, it demonstrates Baku's refusal to honor its international commitments. Both Musavat and Real intend to increase the level of their activity in response to repression. Chairman of Musavat Isagambar said that the party will intensify the fight for free elections, and co-founder of Real Nadal Jeffery said that the movement will intensify political education of people. Emin Hussein, of chairman of the Institute for Reporters Freedom and Safety, recommended the establishment of a working group to rigorously investigate the events that happened in Ismail preparation of a report on the results of these investigations and presentation of this report to local and international community. The committee announced a program of action for the protection of the rights of detainees, which will include various political and social campaigns.